I sure had a lot of fun learning to hunt this year and uh, it's coming to the end of the season here now and uh, one of the things I've learned is man is it important to get out to your blind uh, especially with bow hunting uh, quietly and uh, um, making sure that you're not uh, scaring every deer in the neighborhood away um, scent and wind direction and all those types of things I really learned a lot about that uh, but one of the things that happened here in Michigan is it gets real cold, uh, especially gun season, November 15th. Sometimes it can be, you know, in the teens, uh, especially that early in the morning. And so having a heater, a heat source out here is really important. You're not going to stay out very long and hunt if uh, you're freezing cold. Uh, it's very hard to, to, to uh, uh, get a quality shot uh, when your hands are cold and other things like that. So uh, having a heat source is important. I've got this little tiny personal blind out here this year and uh, what I was using was one of these big old heaters, propane heaters, the little Mr. What is it, Mr. Heater Buddy or something like that. Um, and uh, these things work pretty good, but man, it's this thing bulky to carry around out here and it's kind of loud. So let's get rid of that. So I've got a new solution to uh, keep myself warm out here and uh, it's called Stealth Heat. Uh, actually, one of my neighbors right up here in Michigan manufactures these and he invented it and manufactures them right here in Michigan. So very cool. Um, so basically what it does, you start with a little same, same thing, a little propane uh, tank. I also have one of these old lantern bases I'm using. You don't have to, you can just set it right on the tank. But uh, basically, you can use any propane torch. Uh, I just have one of those uh, Burnsmatic little uh, propane torches here. So you start with that, screw it on and get it lit. And once that's lit, you can kind of dial your flame down a little bit. Don't want it to be too noisy again. So it works with this tiny little stainless steel head. And uh, this just mounts right on the end of the torch. Um, basically what this does is it keeps, it radiates the heat obviously and dissipates it so you can feel it a lot more than just the torch. It also silences that torch flame so you've got a real quiet little heater. Um, and another thing it does is it suppresses all your light so you can't, you don't get that real bright glow, you know. As soon as you open these blinds in the morning, you know, deer can see that glow from your heater, those big propane heaters. So this thing is virtually silent and almost zero light. Once your flame's going, all you do is just mount it right on there. So once it's mounted on there, you can really dial in your flame. You can turn this thing, crank it way up. It has a little bit more noise to it, uh, but you're going to get a lot more heat. And you can dial this thing way down, so it's just kind of a nice, smooth, uh, constant heat source. And there's no sound to it at all at that point. Can't see the flame in here at all. It's just perfectly, perfectly dark. And so it's nice to just park this uh, right in front of you and great great way to just keep your hands warm and um and keep the the nip off out here i mean today it's uh it's about three degrees right now and i could easily stay out here for hours with this little heater um it is a personal heater so you're not going to warm up a, a 3,000 square foot house or anything with it but uh man is it portable so one of the things i love about this thing is throw it in my pockets i don't have to haul you know you're already carrying a, a shotgun and or a bow and arrow and and whatever else with you the last thing you need is a big old bulky heater, right? So, man, this thing is nice. I've already been using this around the farm. I found a couple uses for it. I'm out working on things in the barn, and man, it gets cold out there. I love to have a way to just warm up my fingertips, get working with tools and stuff like that, and things are cold. So uh, it's nice to have just a little way to get warm. Um, this would be perfect for backpacking, hiking, uh, ice fishing, obviously any type of hunting. So just a very portable small little heater what a great what a great little design so it's always the the simplest things that uh, amaze me the most 
You can purchase these, uh, of course. I will put a link in the description to uh, his website, to the Stealth Heat website. And uh, he's got the torch heads, he's got propane tank bases, the, the head. Um, you can buy it all as a kit, you can buy them separately. And so I'll put the link in the description to, uh, to his website. So check it out. Um, pretty neat little deal. And again, it's all local stuff. So it's, it's, uh, it's nice to have somebody uh, come up with an idea like this and uh, manufacture and build these things locally. It's, uh, it's great, especially for, uh, for up here in Michigan. So, Stealth Heat, what do you guys think? Pretty neat little, uh, pretty neat little deal. So, check it out on his, uh, his website and um, love to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of the, the little Stealth Heat? I think it'd be useful for you. Um, all you ice fishermen and, uh, and hunters out there, especially backpackers, what do you think? Um, as always, guys, hit thumbs up on the video. And uh, if you'd like to follow along, if this is your first time checking out our channel, we've got all kinds of outdoor farming, DIY, sustainable living type things. And I'd love to have you guys follow along. So tap that subscribe button, as always, and hit the bell next to that for uh, uh, updates when we release new videos. So uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.